Okay, so what I'm going to show you how to do now is how to create a sign up form that you can then put on your website where people can enter their name, email address, phone number, whatever you want to ask for, and then it will import that contact to your email list within Active Campaign. Again, this is for people that actually have a website and they can put a form onto their website and not for people who want to use a landing page. If you want to use a landing page and you don't want to use a website, then I suggest you use another software to create that landing page. And then I'm going to show you after this one um, how to um, integrate that landing page with Active Campaign. But for now, let's go ahead and create a form that you can put on a website. Again, if you don't want to do that, then just skip ahead to the next part of the tutorial. All right, so to create a form, we go to the left side here and we're gonna um, look for the form icon, which is the second uh, one on the bottom. It says forms, so I'm gonna click on forms and um, then we can click this away here. And then on the bottom, sorry, on the top right, you can click create form. And then you have some different form options here. What I'm gonna show you how to do is create a simple inline form. You can give that form a name, let's say, for example, you wanna give away a lead magnet, let's say you give away, um, let's say a YouTube checklist. That's something that I'm giving away on my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna use that as an example. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna name that form YouTube checklist so that I know that this is the form that I've put in on my website where I give away the YouTube checklist. Um, then again, we do an inline form and the action when somebody enters their details into that form will be that it will be that that contact will be subscribed to our master contact list, which is our only email list. Something else that I want to do here is actually add a tag to everyone that signs up you with that form. So I'm going to click on add an action here on the bottom and I'm going to select add a tag and then I'm going to type in lead magnet. A colon um, YouTube checklist. So that way I know that when a contact has that tag, then I know that this person went onto my email list because they downloaded or they requested my YouTube checklist. So I know that when I have content I want to send out about YouTube specifically, I can just filter my contacts with that tag and then um, I don't bother anyone that isn't actually interested in that specific content. Okay, so I'm gonna click create and that will take us to the builder uh, where we can build our form. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So you already have like an example form right here. This is kind of the canvas where you can build everything, where you can, ch where you can change everything. And you can use that as a basis and then um, kind of design it however you want to. But the first thing that we're going to um, do now is go to the right side here and click on options. And then um, let's see what they give us here. So on submit, which means that if somebody submits their contact information, what should happen? So what happens now is that they will go to a default thank you page, which looks like this. So they will just get to the page. Thanks for signing up. And um, that's it basically. And what I would actually recommend you do is to change that to a specific URL. So you can change the show thank you to open URL. And then you can type in any URL that you want to show up when somebody gives you their contact information. So this would be something, let's say I give away a YouTube checklist and then I send them directly to like a landing page or to a page on my website where there's like a video of me giving some more tips about YouTube. Um, or like a story about me so that I can start building that relationship and it doesn't just say thank you um, for signing up. So that's something you can think about or you can use the simple thank you, uh, thank you um, here and you can also write something like um, check your inbox for the YouTube checklist so that they know what they need to do now. But again, the prettier option would be to actually design a new website or actually send them to like one of your YouTube videos or whatever you think is appropriate here. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna type in Google. So there's something in here, Google, okay. Now, um, the next thing um, is the form action. We already said we want those people to get on our master contact list. So this is fine right here. I'm gonna leave it like that. What we're gonna do is actually click on the opt-in options on the right side. Um, 
which is the, the little gear icon here on the right side, opt-in options. And what I do is I turn off the opt-in confirmation. And what that does is when somebody gives you their contact information and you have this opt-in confirmation in, then they will be sent an email where they need to again confirm that they actually want to be on your email list. And this is what this email will look like. So, and they will have to click on that button inside of that email so that you can actually start sending them emails through your automations. Um, I like to, I, I usually turn that off and I include in my first email that I'm gonna send them anyway, that they can unsubscribe at any point by just clicking on the link at the bottom of any email that I sent them. And um, there are some advantages if you have it turned on, like you, you filter out all the fake email addresses if you might get a lot of those. And you also only get the people that really want to be on your email list and you might get a little bit less complaints. Um, however, um, I think it works pretty well for me if I just turn that off. I think I get more leads. I don't miss any leads by um, by having that turned on. And if somebody um, wants to opt out of my email list, they can just click the link on the bottom of their email. So I turn that off, but it's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna click save here. Then I'm gonna go back to the right side. And um, that's actually everything that we have to change here. Um, the tag, we already added the tag here, lead magnet YouTube checklist. So that's already in there, that's fine. So we can actually start to design our form. And you can design the form however you want to, however it makes sense for you. I'm just gonna show you a little bit. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit so that you can see how, um, how to change anything here. So on the right side, you have the options, style and field. If you wanna change a field or uh, you wanna add some fields, you can just drag any field that makes sense for you uh, into the left side here. So if you wanna ask for a phone number, just uh, drag in the phone block here into your uh, form. Um, I'm just gonna create a simple uh, name email form and I'm gonna try to make it as minimalistic as possible because I wanna have the design um, on my website and I wanna have that form re relatively minimalistic. So the first thing I wanna do here is actually get rid of this branding on the bottom here. And the way I do that is by going to style and then scrolling down. You might not be able to see that because of my face here. So if you scroll down here, um, you see the AC branding and you wanna turn that off in order to get rid of this um, active campaign branding here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is actually delete um, the title and also delete the text here and I'm gonna change this field. I don't wanna have the title full name, so what I can do is just delete this one, then it will get rid of it. And I'm just wanna type in, I just wanna type in name. All right, and then for the, uh, what I also wanna do is make that required. So I wanna make sure they, if somebody doesn't type in a name, then it, kind of says, um, gives them information that they need to enter a name, otherwise they can't sign up. So what you need to do here is, again, click on the field and then make sure to click and uh, to check that box here, required. So um, that people know they need to enter a name. And the email obviously is always required because that's how they can sign up. Okay, so the same thing I'm gonna do with email. I'm gonna delete the header here and just change that to email, email. All right, now what I want to do is kind of center that text here and make everything a little bit bigger. Um, that's something that is not very easy to do within this builder here. I don't know why they make it so hard, um, but um, you have to type in a little bit of HTML code. So the way you need to do that is again by going to style and then scroll down and um, then you have the custom CSS. And what you need to do here is click on the inspector. Um, maybe you see, don't see it again because of my face, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna drag it over. Okay, so again, on the right side, you click on style, then go down, click on inspector, and then click on whatever you want to change here. So I'm gonna click on this field where it says name and then I'm gonna type in text 
um, align colon center semicolon and then it takes that text and puts it in the center the same thing I'm going to do with email so I'm going to again click on inspector then I'm going to choose the email field here and I'm going to copy this code here paste it down here and then again the email will be in the middle then for the submit button I want to make it I want to make the width um, as wide as this form here so what I'm going to do is again click on inspector choose the submit sign submit button here and then um, I'm going to type in width um, 100% and that should make it 100% wide um, now I want to just uh, change uh, the font size of let's say the submit button so I click on this uh, I go to the right side again go to style and then where it says submit you make sure you have the semicolon in here and then you can click enter and then um, text uh, font size I think it is colon uh, let's say 18 pixels let's see if that worked yeah, so now the submit sign is a little bit bigger. Um, that's just how you can play around with it. I know that's kind of um, a pain to change it like that, but if you wanna change uh, like the colors, you can just um, go to style, go to text and change the color text or the background, you can make that, um, you can make that green if you want to and play around with it a little bit until it looks fine, until it fits well into your website. And if you do want to have some text on your form and then you can just go to the fields and drag in the header into your form and then you can change the text on the right side here. You can say something like, um, where can I send my YouTube checklist? And then maybe also change the text of the button, send, send it now and you know, you get how it works. Okay, so let's say we're happy now with our form and ready to put it on our website. So what we need to do is go to the top right here and click on integrate. And now you have some different options how to integrate it to your website. What you can also do is just, um, if you wanna send people a link to your form, um, you can just go to, to link here and then just copy that link and send it to them. But probably you're not gonna use that because it just, it looks like this and it's not really uh, well designed uh, it's just our form so if you want to put it on your website you're going to click on the embed tab here and you can either do a full embed or a simple embed um, I think the difference is that if you do a full embed then if you change something in active campaign in your form then it won't change on your website so I would rec recommend you actually use the simple embed and use that HTML code um, to actually put that on your website I'm not going to cover how to put it on your website. There are plenty of tutorials about how to do that. And I assume that if you have a website, you already know how to embed an HTML code into your website. And once you have it embedded and somebody signs up with that form, then that person will be um, put on your email list. And if you do that, I would suggest that you do a, an exam or do a test. You just type in an email and a name and then check if it's actually on your email list. And that's actually it. That's how to create forms. We can just click save and exit. And now on the forms, we have our YouTube checklist form.